and he will take away from us. That's the just balance. Um, let me go back into um. This is uh, Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11. But they refused to hearken and pull away the shoulder and stop their ears that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as a, a dominant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the which Yahweh of armies has set in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from Yahweh of armies. Therefore it is come to pass that he, as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, said Yahweh of hosts. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's, he's crying. You know, he, he's, he's out here putting the spirit, the Rakakadash, the comforter in man. You know, because the tabernacle of Yahweh lies with man. So right now, he's putting that spirit in man, the living comforter, the living spirit in man to call you third, you elect man back into the fold. He's gathering you back up into it. But see, there's a lot of you two thirds out there that are not going to be in the fold. There's a lot of you two thirds that are not hearkening into it. That's why he says, man, hey, when y'all start crying, when you start uh, being afflicted and he already sealed his elect man, he's not going to hear your crying because you, you didn't hear when he was crying out unto you to repent and come back unto your power, which is a living power that doesn't corrode, that doesn't rust, that doesn't die. You know, he is the almighty Yahabashim Yahushai, the Omega, the first and the last. And Zechariah 2 and 6, 2 and 5, for I, and I'm going to just read it verbatim, says, For I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, said the Lord. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, said the Lord. Deliver thyself. See, deliver thyself. Come out of her. You, you have to put in the work. You have to put in that, that time to deliver yourself. Oh, Zion. That dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon. See, we live in, in, in the kingdom of Babylon, man. These so-called Spaniards, Americans, English, French, German, Russian. Man, they're all Babylonians. They're, they're, they're all Caucasians. They come back from the seed line of Cain, man. Which spiritually is the spirit that went into Esau. But it is that seed line, man. It's that seed line. Because yeah, Jacob and Esau are brothers, man. They come from Isaac. Were Abel and Cain not brothers? Do you not see it? See, they're, they're supposed to be our brothers. But yet they want us dead. They continue to afflict us. What has happened then is continuing to happen again. Why? All because they wouldn't give an uh, offering that was pleasable unto Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. Verse 8, for thus said the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you.
For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Cain slew Abel, man. That was the apple of his eye, man. Wasn't, wasn't Esau always... Uh, what did Esau say when uh, Isaac died? You have to go back into Genesis. is uh, Genesis chapter 27 it's the uh, and 41 and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will I slay my brother Jacob He, he has always hated his brother, man. To, um, where was I? Uh, Zechariah. You know, we need to deliver ourselves. You know, and that's only going to be through Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. We can't do nothing without him. Everything we do is because of him. He gives us the knowledge, he gives us the comforter. It's his will. If he wants to keep us blind, he'll keep us blind. But what is it? He brings us in. He lets us hear the truth. But if you're not part of the elect, he's going to let you fall back out. Because that's his way of you hearing the word. And not being able to come back and say, I never heard the word. Um, And I'll try to bring that scripture out too. Let's see. Verse 9, For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. For lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, said the Lord. Yahweh is in the midst of us, man. He's going to be in the midst of us. He says to say, And how many... Sightings of chariots do you not see? Let's see. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to have faith. This is a uh, Hebrews uh, 11 and 4. By faith Abel offered unto God a more, more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God has translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So he's going to reward us, man. That's why it's... At the beginning, I, I put out that that um, scripture, you know, that, hey, he's going to recompense you, man. You, you have a bigger reward waiting for you than what we have been given here on earth, man. Right now, during this kingdom. During the, the rulership of this world right now. Red Tobit. Verse 
But at the end of the day, you got to be renewed. It says, um, Matthew 9 and 16. No man put it a piece of new cloth unto an old garment for that which is put in to fit up. Take it from the garment and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. Else the bottles break and the wine run it out. And the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles. And both are preserved. So hey man. He tells us to come into the fold and be like children. We got to be renewed again man. You know if we're renewed mentally. Uh, mentally. You know, he's going to give us that spirit to be renewed throughout the entire body, man. And if we're fit, if we're fit to be priests unto him, he will give us those new bodies to be part of the elect. And then I'm going to end it up with uh, Zechariah, since I was already in there. I think I lost my train of te uh, a thought. Of where, where I was going. Let's see. Let me get this verse out. Um, This is Malachi 2 and uh, 1. And now, ye priest. And now, O ye priest, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, said Yahweh of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already because ye do not lay it to heart. See, you're already being cursed, man. Since the day you were born, you're cursed. Why? Because of the sins. Not just because you're uh, you're supposedly just born into sin and that's it. No, man. It's the sins of your fathers, your forefathers, and your own sins. Reincarnation. This is chapter 3. Back in Malachi chapter 3 verse 2. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire. And like a fueler's soap. Right? He's a refiner's fire. Like a fueler's soap. What is that? That, that, that you, You're cleansing. You're making something more pure. Alright? Go back into Zechariah. And I'm going to end it off here. This is Zechariah uh, chapter 8. Uh, chapter 13 verse 8 And it shall come to pass that in all the land said Yahweh two parts therein should be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein and the third the third is who? The elect man Lock you. Here he goes. This is our Revelation chapter seven, verse three. Or let me start at verse two. And I saw another angel ascending. From the east having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels. To whom, it, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying hurt not the earth. Neither the sea. Nor the trees. Till we have sealed the servants of our power. In their foreheads. And that's a spiritual power. Because Esau's carnal. So he's going to put a carnal chip in you. But the most high deals spiritually and he's going to have that seal imprinted in you. A spiritual seal. Verse 4 And I heard the number of them which were sealed and they were sealed at 144,000 from of all the tribes 
of the children of Israel. And who are those tribes? It's Judah, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Nephtali, Manasseh, Simeon, Levi, Ishakar, Zebulon, jo Joseph, Dan. You got, you got 12 tribes, man. Oh, well, yeah, 13 tribes, but one of them's not mentioned to be sealed. You know, and um, nobody out of that tribe is meant. Uh, is, is, uh, there's that 13 tribes. If we go back into. Um, uh, what is it? And I, I, I shouldn't be going off on this. I should just end it there. But when you go back into Exodus. And I believe it's. Uh, Shlok is Genesis. <laughs> Genesis uh, chapter 29 you get uh, all the tribes which is Judah, Levi, Simeon Reuben which were of Leah, the Nephtali Dan, which were of Rachel and Bilah, Asher Gad, were of Leah and Zelipha, Zelipha, and then you have uh, Ishakar Zebulon of Leah, Joseph, Shalom. Khan. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, GMS, who have continued to push this truth 100% according to the Bible. Salutations to you, hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Shalom.